Hello, hello, Virgo. So this is going to be your February reading. So Virgo, if you saw spirit messages, I'm still a little swollen. So I'm sounding um, definitely a little, to me, I sound funny. Everybody else is like, I sound normal. And I'm like, no, I'm slurring. And the lisp is def definitely lisping <laughs> right now. So I had some oral surgery and I'm still trying to heal from it. But I have the mic on and I'm trying to talk as clearly as possible and definitely a little bit slower. So if there's anything that I say and it doesn't sound right to me, you might hear me repeat the word again just because it's not sounding right. But hopefully the message gets to who needs to hear it, Virgo. So bear with me this month. I'm hoping next month will be a whole lot better. So let me get all these charms in and we shall start, Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo for February. February. Ah, safety pin already flew out. Virgo, what's going on? What do we have for this month? Any guidance? Any messages, spirit? All righty. Ooh, we got a bullet casing in money, and then we have unemployment. So, but we have money coming in. So this could be getting an unemployment check. This could be some type of support. This could also be another job coming in. But we, I would definitely say this month, watch your spending. Some of you may be finding out that there, I mean, we do have a home coming in. So I'm wondering if maybe some of this money loss could be because we have the cowrie shell upside down on top of home. But we have the muscle hand. So it could be that you have something that you're trying to purchase or you're saving up for an apartment or you're saving up for a home. The doctor bag is on top of a home. This may be something that needs repair. For some of you, it may be that I'm not even going to repair it. I'm going to go ahead and move or it's time for me to go ahead and move and I need to put my money somewhere else. Now, the muscle hand was right there, which means that regardless of what's going on, you're strong enough to get through it. But we do have a question mark, and this could be somebody that's like, what is the next move? For some of you, um, I don't know if this could be losing a place or an eviction. Um, I don't feel that too strongly, but there may be something that's coming in where it's like, okay, I need to worry about taking care of taking care of either my expenses for a home or repair, or either there could be something that is coming in where there's a move. And you may end up losing some money. Now, you do have evil eye energy on your money sector. And spirit is kind of like, pay attention. There's also some emotional stuff that's going on too. So I keep getting something with gossip. Some of you may be dealing with an energy of someone saying something and you feeling some kind of way about it. So there may be this energy that comes in of gossip that... Uh, maybe you're hearing about, could be somebody that you work with, but I do see some emotions. And I would think that if you were getting emotional over gossip, this would be something that maybe is coming from a person who's close to you. Some of you, there may also be a new beginning where you're putting money into it. Maybe you are walking away from one job because you're starting a business. There's something that you're giving birth to, and there's a lot of emotions involved with this. So if you've been thinking about starting something, this could even be an investment because I do see money coming in. We have money lost, possibly losing a job or quitting a job. Bullet casing could be conflict in that in, in that area. Maybe you got into it with someone or you decided that I don't want to put any more energy into working for someone else. I'm going to work for me and I'm going to start something up that brings in money. But there's definitely some change that's coming in with money. Some of you, there's some conflict definitely in family with being inflexible. Trickster energy is there. You could be dealing with somebody that you're going back and forth with and you don't feel like that this person is um, being flexible enough. So there may even be this energy of conflict because we do have this kind of crossing over into family. So it could be that maybe you have somebody in the household who's not working there's talks about it because we have the sword, we have the hip bone. We definitely have some conflict that is coming in. 
So a few of you might be dealing with an energy of somebody manipulating or trying to play games um, or either being inflexible. Like this person is not bending. They're not, um, they're being stubborn is what I hear. So there may be this energy in the house. So I'm wondering if some of you could be either moving out or having somebody else move out because they're being stubborn and there's conflict there. Let's see. We definitely have the skeleton hands, which is kind of take, like, take, 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 like, give me this, give me that, give me, and somebody's cutting somebody off. This could be a child. If you've been helping somebody out and it's been a one-sided relationship where you feel like you're being taken advantage of, some of you may be cutting this person out because you don't want to have to keep dealing with this energy or you're tired of having to always fix things or fix this person or give this person something. This could also be, if this is not you, this could be a partner where somebody is like, I'm always having to do something or you're always having to do something and it's causing some type of conflict. And somebody might be putting boundaries down because I guess somebody's not moving. They're they're picking a side or they're drawing a line in the sand and it's like, I just don't want to go any further with this. So it definitely is some issues that could be coming in within family. Um, health. We may have some back issues and we also may have some issues with a headache because we have this, we have the head on top of another head. Could be dealing with somebody that's giving that's stressing you out. I do see the um health heart in love, and this could a clause right next to it. So you could be dealing with somebody that you're involved with or living with that is starting to stress you out. Could be causing back issues, neck issues, or even headaches that are coming in. Um, I do see improvement with the key. Because it looks like something is going to open up or get better. But you may be dealing with someone where it's like, oh, um, I'm stressed. There may even be issues of, I'm getting like computer posture. Maybe you're leaning over too much. Your lower back is hurting. Your neck is hurting or your shoulders are hurting. And it's causing headaches. Some of you might be time to go to a chiropractor. For a few of you, you might even be contemplating some type of surgery to correct this. But I see with the key there, there's something that is going to open up with relief or recovery that will be helpful for you. Let's see. Travel. Travel. We got a lot going on. We got a lot of talking. We got the double head. We got money loss. And we got somebody not trying to see something. We have possibly a move to a different city, state, or another country. This could be something that is happening within the next six to eight months, if not sooner. Uh, this could be for love, but there may be some conflict that's coming in with this. Um, some of you may have spent a lot of money because there's money lost with a move. So you could be moving in with someone or there may be some love connection there. There's a lot of talk, maybe about how you want to do something. Some of you are walking away from other people because of a move. I'm going somewhere else. So you could be leaving the situation. Maybe where a lot of people are kind of pulling on your energy. And you're feeling like I need to get away or I need to move. And there's some type of money lost because of it. I don't quite see relocation, but we do see a new home coming in. So there is a move. But some of you, you don't want to look at a, a problem and it may be affecting you financially, especially if there is a move. It may be that when I'll figure it out when I get there. But spirit is saying that you probably need to figure it out before you go. Um, because I do get somebody was feeling stuck, but maybe they're walking away from something. They're unsticking themselves and it could be putting themselves in a whole new environment. Now in the good spell uh, or the good luck sector, we got major movement, which is good. Looks like that there was an energy of doubts with the sun upside down, but then it looks like that spirit kind of steps in good luck factor, which means that something that maybe you were worried about working out actually is working out in your favor. There also could be that there's a lot of loss going on. Some of you might be losing um, relatives or friends. There could be uh, something with sickness or if this is not you, this could be somebody close to you that maybe somebody is grieving. I feel like there's a loss of a loved one. And I don't think it's just that this person decided to walk away. I think this may actually be um, somebody transitioned. So my condolences if you lost someone. 
There may be a lot of even communication about having to go to this person's funeral or traveling out. Um, and it may be just for a small amount of you. And I, my condolences again, for some of you, this just looks like a change of environment. Like I need to, to do something differently. There's a lot of work that's going on. So I feel like somebody's trying to really focus in on their money or their work, which is not uncommon for Virgos because a lot of you are workaholics. Past love is coming back in. Demon head is upside down. Protection is on top of you. You may have somebody who's coming back from the past, or you may even be thinking about reopening something from the past. And this person may still need to change. It's either you need to change or they need to change. So there may be some growing up. If you have somebody who comes back from the past, take your time with it. Demon head is upside down, which means that this person isn't in a really, uh, uh, what do you call it, detrimental energy. It's just more so that there may have been healing, but whatever the problem is, it may not be completely healed. I see a lot of spirit intervention there. So this could be you praying that somebody changes. This could even be somebody praying for changes or even praying that you change. But I do see with the chicken foot, there's protection there, which means that spirit is trying to create a barrier of you to get to know this person again or connect with this person again, but then feel like that it's not something that you definitely have to fall into because there may be some stuff that needs to be worked out. Um, we do have the person's upside down with love and then we have travel. I'm wondering if some of you could be dealing with a long distance relationship or maybe travel is what you do for a living or because of death or some loss or something, the person may have to travel out, but I'm definitely getting some movement and love. Now there's some stress. We have the purse upside down and then we have the car, the Kari shell upside down within love and spirit, which means that there may be some money lost because of either a relationship this also could be like watch your budget. If you're big on splurging and you're in a relationship and you know you're traveling a lot, spending a lot of money, spirit could be like, okay, watch your money because there may be some type of obstacle that's going to be coming in this month that you're not prepared for. I do see a lot of people up here, two people. So this could be long distance relationship. This could also be admirers. Um so if you are in a relationship, you may have some secret admirers. This could also be, too, that if you are talking to people, you could be talking to multiple people. Um, somebody could be in the military uh, deployed because we do have a badge up here. So there could be some travel or something going on with deployment with that. Or either this person wears a uniform, could be a pilot or somebody who travels a lot. But I do get a little stress in the relationship. There's something with drinking going on too, and I'm not really sure who it applies to you or possibly a partner, but somebody may have some issue with addiction that they're trying to battle because I feel like there's something with healing um, that's going to have to be addressed this year with someone. I do see reconnections coming through, and for some of you, this could be trying to build a stronger bond with children or family. Um... There's the handcuffs on top of the key, which means that some of you are trying to start a new beginning or open something up, but you feel a little bit um, limited or you feel like the things could be better. We do have opportunities coming in, but we have trickster energy. I get a lot of talk, but no action. So be careful that you're not dealing with people who are like, you know, yeah, 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 blah, 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 blah. Like they're just filling your, your energy with talk but there's no action with these people. Some of you are going to be pulling away from these people because it looks like that there's movement that you want to do. There's opportunities that you want to take. There could even be talking to a lot of people. We have the mockingbird. We have opportunities. This could be public speaking. This could be selling something to the public. Some of you may have shops. This could be pop-up shops. This could be um, going around trying to figure out how to make money, but you're using your voice or you're using your personality to do this. The anchor is there. Um, and the key is showing that whatever has been holding you back, you have some things that are going to start opening up. Now, crown is upside down. And this could be that you're feeling a little insecure 
Maybe you're working on some confidence and that could be where the limitation is. Some of you could be moving to a new place. There may be some change in environment. Um, there may be something where you're learning something new on the job training. Some of you may be put, being pushed more into the forefront where you have to talk. But I do get that whatever this is, there may be a little social anxiety going on, but it looks like that you're going to try to work through it. Whatever it is, the handcuffs are, they're not really holding you back to where you can't do it. These are temporary limitations. Manifestation is in your spirit, which means that your prayers are being heard and they're being answered. So if you're talking to your ancestors or you're talking to your spirits, it looks like that you have some things that are going to come through, which means that your words and your thoughts are really strong with manifesting right now. So you need to be very specific about what you're asking for, what you're trying to connect to, because it looks like at the end of the day, you're going to get something that you ask for. And spirit is all over this. You're going through some type of major transformation. Don't be surprised if maybe there's not only a change in environment, but you may change with the way that you do things. You may even feel different. I think some of you are putting yourself in a position where you're trying something new or you are somewhere new. There could have been something that um, ended and you're opening up new doors and you're trying to build your foundation. I see more communication with friends. Um there's some type of spiritual growth. Maybe you're joining some type of spiritual group or connecting strongly with some type of spiritual group. Uh, uh, let's see. I do get a lot of conversations that are coming in about new beginnings, and this could be dealing with masculine energy. So maybe you're linking up with a masculine friend or a partner, and this could be like, okay, this is what we're going to do. Let's work this out. Let's do a plan. This also could be being on the same page with somebody, like moving forward. Maybe there was questions at the beginning, but then we have spirit behind us where it seems like something is really solid or something is coming in that seems to be solid and opening up. If you've been having any type of issues with self-esteem or you're dealing with somebody with self-esteem, I feel like that they're going to be changing. And it may be from your encouragement or, excuse me, it may be their encouragement to you. But I do get something with partnership that is coming in. So if you were dealing with somebody where you felt like you were kind of growing apart, it looks like that you may be working on something together to bring you back in. Um, Spirit is saying, no, watch your spending, watch your money. Even though you have some money coming in, there's a big amount of money that could be coming out first. And for some of you, this could be with a home where you're trying to catch up with bills before it balances out. Lots of communications with people, lots of networking. The anchor is there. Something is coming in solid and spirit is really on top of it. Don't be surprised though if they start pushing some people out of the way, because I feel like some of you, especially people from the past, you, you're not going to connect with them anymore. You do have somebody hiding back here in the bad spell work sector and it's, they don't want to be seen. So you may be having somebody that is trying to cause some problems from, for you, but they're doing it in the shadows or from a distance. Could be jealousy. Somebody's watching um, and they're seeing a lot of things open up for you. And I don't see that they're red, which means that they're really not trying to do dirty work yet. But they're kind of keeping an eye on you. And I'm wondering if maybe they're trying to see what opportunities that you have. Do you have coming in? Are you growing? What's going on with you? But the thing that gets me is that they're hiding. So it's almost like you're being watched, but they're not being they're not making themselves open right now. They're just kind of right now taking in what's going on with you. Um, could be somebody that you work with. Maybe there's a project or a program that you're working on and this person is trying to see what you do or how well you're going to do it. I, I get something with somebody. Definitely there's some envy. There's some envy going on. They're not really kind of bringing it to the surface yet. That's why they're in the back and they're hiding. Let's look at the cards. Let's see what we have going on, Virgo. There is a little bit of gossip, but it doesn't really seem, you're not really focused on it. You seem to be more focused on money. And if there was a move, it's like I need to get more comfortable with where this move is or what my new environment is. So some of you, you may be going or doing something different. You may have given birth 
to a new idea. Some of you are possibly starting a business and you're really focused on the foundation with that. So if there is gossip, you're kind of like, I'm not even worried about it. I'm focused in on me. Same reason that you're not even paying attention to this person in the background that's watching you because you seem to be really into you right now. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo spirit. One more time. Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. All right, let's see what we have. Okay, so first thing we have, four of wands in the upright, and this is about victory, success, triumph, recognition. Could speak definitely to starting something new with this money coming in. It's weird that I left that out, but maybe that coin needed to be out to kind of give you a focus point of that's what you're focused on, your coin. Recognition could be public speaking, putting yourself out there. There's victory that's coming in. People are seeing you in a really positive light. Nine of Pentacles, luxury, stability, prosperity, self-reliance. I'm not relying on other people. I'm putting myself together. And it kind of goes to everything I just said. I'm focused on me. I'm focused on what I need to do. And it looks like that is putting you in a place of prosperity where there's some abundance or opportunities that are coming in that bring in money. Ace of Cups, new opportunity of business, creativity, creating something. Some of you could be starting a business, expanding a business. Um, you may have um, kind of discovered something that helps bring in money. Could have started out as a side hustle and now that you're you're moving a little bit more with action. There's not so much talk. It's like, okay, I see a position where I can bring in more money or I'm in an environment where I can bring in more money. The magician manifesting. Now we saw that in the spirit messages. If you are a practitioner, there may be something coming in with your magic. Um, this is about focus, willpower, skill, creativity. we got two cards that are talking about creation, building something up. And then we have the walnut shell with this giving birth to something. So some of you are working on a project, starting a business, starting something new, and you're manifesting positive energy with it. That's good. Emperor energy, walking in your power, authority, leadership, structure, eight of wands, acceleration, travel, some of you could be going overseas. There may be a big move that's coming in, different city, different state. And it's almost like as soon as you get there, you hit the ground running. Like, let's see what we can do. You kind of went on something that's like, I'm on fire. I want to make this money. Opportunities are around me and I want to take advantage of it. And whatever else is going around you, you're kind of putting it to the side. Now, there may be some people who need your attention. Um, there's definitely something going on with family. Some of you may have a person who comes back from the past. Um, I, you know, I understand being focused and I'm not saying don't be focused, but don't forget also some of the stuff that's going on around you, possibly with family, because they may need you. Four of Cups reversed, um, uh, denial, living in the past, refusal to grow up. And I think this is the person that may be needing you. You may have somebody that is stuck and maybe you're outgrowing them. Um, and that energy is like Virgo is leaving me behind if this is a job. This may be something where you didn't see any growth and it's like, okay, I'm going to move to a different department or I'm going to go ahead and apply for a different job that opens me up. Voodoo. Wait a minute. I'll let you out in a minute. Block energy stagnation. Yes. Yeah, some of you, I think burdened by work, um, Knight of Cups, sensitive, romantic, caring. Some of you may have been dealing with somebody, and this may even be a partnership where somebody felt stuck, you felt stuck, you both felt stuck, and there's movement that's coming in. So you got to be careful that you're not living in the past and you're not holding on to things that you've outgrown. Somebody may have a fear of poverty, but they're in a better position because they have abundance and money coming in. Somebody may have had a job where you know, uh, they lost some things or they defined themselves with this work and it's like, oh, but something else opened. It was like one door closed and another door opened, but somebody could still be looking at the past. Like, yeah, Becca, I remember in 2020, this is what happened, but we're not in 2020 anymore. We're in 2023. If you're outgrowing some people, 
It may be that some of you have decided to focus in on yourself and stop talking about it and be about it. And it looks like that your manifestation is coming in in a big way. You may have some people around you, though, that are still living in the past and having a hard time moving on. Some people that are stagnant. And it could be where that, en that envy is in the background. So we have a message coming in. We have deception, disbelief, confusion, blocked. So where is this message coming in? Moon, something not being seen. Page of swords, temperamental, child lock, childlike, headstrong. Some of you may be butting heads with somebody that is immature or they could be calling you immature. There's this energy of outgrowing something. And I feel that there's envy there because you've outgrown or you're moving forward. But there's something with selfishness um, and deception that is coming in. And somebody's throwing tantrums. And you may be telling this person, look, you know, I, I don't have time to deal with this. I got to make this money. If this is people that you're working with and they're always coming to you complaining and, you know, trying to get your attention in a negative way, you're like, I don't have time for this. You need to deal with what you need to deal with. Somebody also could be trying to manipulate you. Like, wow, you're really doing well. You're moving forward. Let me throw this tantrum to kind of see if I can get your energy back. Let me do this and see if maybe you're going to turn around and be distracted and maybe not move forward. Don't let it happen, Virgo. Five of Cups, depression, regret, let the pa the living in the past. So you may have been with someone, whether this was business, romantically, or maybe this is even family. And these people, one-sided relationships, somebody could have been taking advantage of you. And now that you're putting down boundaries and you're moving forward and focused in on yourself, somebody is throwing a tantrum and it's kind of like, I regret the way I treated you. Now, if this is a relationship and you walked away from it, this person is like, look, come back. That could be that past love with the demon head. Come back. Let's try it again. I'm depressed. I regret what I did. But we have somebody who's still living in the past, which means that if you've outgrown this person and moved on, be careful of going back to somebody who has not progressed, who has not moved on, who's not who's tr who's not trying to move on. The devil bondage. Yeah. Toxic relationship. Self-restriction. Um. Uh, Somebody is, is self-imposed. It's not the eight of cups, self-imposed bondage. This person is definitely doing this on free will. But be careful of somebody who is stuck, especially people with addiction. Somebody who is using maybe addiction to deal with depression. Maybe they're smoking a little something, drinking a little something. Remember where I said there's definitely something with alcohol or alcoholism that could be coming in, whether this is you or somebody else, but they're stuck in that energy. They're not healed. And for some of you, you could be trying to pull away from this energy and do better for yourself. But the energy comes back, throws a tantrum. Can't believe you're leaving me. Depression is there. I regret what I did. Give me another chance. I'm going to let this addiction go. I'm going to do better. But the devil in the upright is showing that they're still connected to that. Judgment. You could be looking at somebody like, look, I've changed. Jug judgment in reverse. Um, refusal. To move forward, self-examination. So we got definitely a, some going back and forth. And some of you are going to have to really take a good look at yourself and really figure out where you're at at this point in your life. What do you want? Who are the people that you want to be around? Who are supporting your growth and who's holding you back? Are you trying to put together or hold together toxic people? And it's really kind of weighing on your energy because some of you, maybe you're an empath and this person is used to getting their way with you. You know, if I act this way, then Virgo is going to come around and take care of me and nurture me. But we have somebody who really is stuck and they need healing and you may not be able to fix that. And if this is you, Virgo, and you're dealing with somebody who's moving on, they're not going to slow down and come back to pick you up. Whoever this person is that's making the decision to manifest a different, you know, change, they're moving in power. They're focused. There's an acceleration. It's not a slowdown. It's like I'm trying to really get where I'm going. And then we have the King of Cups. Could be an energy of a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, and then we have the Four of Wands reverse. somebody who's ungrateful, stagnant. 
um, there's insecurities. Maybe that's why they're throwing, um, you know, t tantrums. Somebody is lacking, you know, in pleasure. It's almost like I'm withholding from you because I want to get my way. Some of you might be in a power struggle with someone, and that's what it looks like. Star card in the upright. We have hope. We have four cups in the upright. Um, Self-reflection. Temperance, finding balance. Patience, adjusting. And then the four pinnacles, wealth, budgeting, um, trying to focus in on this money. So if you're dealing with somebody who's going up and down, you might be in a toxic relationship, whether this is a friendship, co-worker, or a romantic relationship. There's a lot of growth that's coming in. And if this is somebody that's battling with their inner child and they used to act a certain way to get certain people to jump or manipulate, it's not going to work. There's a major change that's going in. Either you're growing up Virgo or somebody you're dealing with is growing up. So there's this energy of having to put something together that puts you in a better position. And you did it in a way that was very structured. So if you are coming from a place that was unstructured, you're about to be hit with this energy. If you haven't been hit already, that I want better. I want more. I don't want to stay in the past. It does not define me anymore. And I have to walk away from it. And for some of you, you may have to walk away from some people that are refusing to grow. And it may be painful at first because I feel like some of you may feel like I need, I'm obligated or I need to stay and take care of these people. But it is showing that for some of you, this is draining. This is really not helping you progress. And this could be these people looking over here, hiding. You see Virgo changing. You see Virgo growing. And they're not falling for the okie doke anymore. They're not, you know, I, what I used to do, I used to start crying and throwing things. And Virgo would come in and be like, hey, what's up? Let me help you. Virgo is like, look, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I don't have time for this. Get some help. Move in the right direction. You know, that's about what I can do for you, but I don't want to be stagnant with you. I don't want to be held in this energy. And Virgo is probably a smart move. Sometimes we can't save everybody, especially if they don't want to be saved. And some of you are dealing with somebody who is comfortable in 1999. They don't want to be in 2023. And if that's the case, then you got to move forward. We're in this world to elevate, to grow. We're not here to be stagnant. We're not here to regress, to go back. We want to heal and elevate. And if you're on that path, you need to keep moving forward. All right, Virgo, I love you.